What would you do if the grid collapsed tomorrow? This isn't a question to inspire fear, but to prompt introspection and preparedness. Grid collapses are unpredictable, and when they occur, they plunge our everyday lives into immediate chaos. Imagine one moment you're living your daily routine, the next, the power is out. Not just in your home, but everywhere. No lights, no internet, no refrigeration, just silence and darkness. This isn't a scene from a dystopian movie, but a reality that can strike with little to no warning. Now consider this, most people have enough supplies to last them no more than three days. That's 72 hours. After that, things start to get tricky. With supply chains disrupted and stores unable to operate due to power outages, getting hold of essentials becomes an uphill battle. In the immediate aftermath of a grid collapse, people rush to stores, panic buying whatever they can. But with electronic payment systems down, cash becomes king, leading to long lines, confusion, and rapidly emptying shelves. It's in these moments that a harsh truth becomes evident. When the grid goes down, what you have is all you have. The lack of foresight and preparation leaves many vulnerable without the bare necessities to get through even a few days. This is not a situation anyone wants to find themselves in, which is why preparedness is so crucial. It's not just about having resources, but about ensuring your own security and resilience in the face of unpredictable disruptions. Being prepared is about more than having a cupboard full of canned goods. It's about understanding the realities of a grid collapse, knowing what to expect, and having a plan to navigate the chaos that ensues. So, let's dive deeper into this topic because understanding is the first step towards preparedness. By the end of this video, you'll be better equipped to face a grid collapse, and most importantly, you'll know how to ensure that you're never caught unprepared. Remember, when the grid goes down, what you have is all you have. Let's make sure that what you have is enough to not just survive but flourish, even when the lights go out. When disaster strikes, the scramble for resources begins, and in a grid collapse, certain items vanish from the shelves faster than you can blink. Knowing what they are and why they're crucial can be the difference between chaos and calm in your world. First on the list is bottled water. It's a fundamental need for human survival, used not only for drinking but also for cooking and maintaining basic hygiene. When tap water becomes compromised, the demand for bottled water skyrockets. Next up are flashlights and lanterns. In the absence of electricity, these become our guiding lights, essential for navigation and carrying out tasks in the darkness. And it's not just the flashlights and lanterns themselves, it's also the batteries that power them. As soon as the lights go out, these items become as precious as gold. Then we have portable generators. These machines are highly sought after for their ability to power essential appliances and lights. But what fuels these generators? That's right, gasoline. Gasoline becomes a critical resource, not only for generators, but also for vehicles. With gas stations often becoming inoperable due to power outages, those with a supply of gasoline are ahead of the game. And let's not forget about propane. This versatile gas is used for cooking and heating especially for those with gas grills or stoves. In a grid collapse, propane can mean the difference between a hot meal and going hungry. But it's not all about energy sources. Baby supplies, including diapers, baby wipes, and formula, are crucial for families with infants. These items run out quickly as parents scramble to ensure the well-being of their little ones. Pet food is another item that often disappears quickly. It's easy to forget our furry friends in the initial panic. But once pet owners realize they don't have enough supplies, the rush to secure pet food begins. Cleaning supplies like disinfectants, soaps, and sanitizers are essential for maintaining hygiene and preventing illness. In a crisis, cleanliness truly is next to godliness, as it can ward off disease and infection. We can't overlook the importance of medications and first aid supplies. From prescription drugs to band-aids, these items are the backbone of any emergency kit. They're crucial for managing health conditions and treating injuries when professional medical help may not be readily available. Finally, there's food. Canned and dried foods, in particular, are key for long-term food security when fresh food is unavailable. These non-perishables can provide much-needed nutrition and a sense of normalcy in a time of crisis. But knowing what disappears first is only part of the equation. The real key is understanding why these items are crucial and planning accordingly. Each of these items plays a vital role in survival during a grid collapse. By knowing what they are, you can prioritize your stockpile, ensuring you have what you need when you need it. In the face of a grid collapse, preparedness is not just about having resources. 
It's about creating a sense of security and resilience. It's about knowing that you have what it takes to weather any storm. Because when disaster strikes, the scramble for resources begins. But with knowledge and planning, you can be ready. Because when the grid goes down, what you have is all you have. Being prepared means being proactive. It's about understanding your specific needs and tailoring your preparation strategy accordingly. One size doesn't fit all when it comes to survival. Each person, each family, has unique needs that must be considered when preparing for a grid collapse. So how do you prioritize these critical items? Begin by assessing your household's needs. If you have infants, baby supplies are a top priority. If you rely on regular medication, ensuring a sufficient supply is crucial. If you live in a cold climate, heating sources like propane should be high on your list. It's about understanding what you can't live without and making sure you have enough of it. Next, consider how to create a sustainable stockpile strategy. This isn't about hoarding, it's about smart, strategic preparedness. Start small, purchasing a few extra items each time you shop. Over time, this will build a stockpile without breaking the bank. Remember, the key is to stock up on items that have a long shelf life. This includes canned and dried foods, bottled water, and essential hygiene items. These items can last for years, providing you with a safety net when the grid goes down. But don't forget about power sources. Batteries, solar chargers, and generators can be lifesavers when the electricity goes out. And remember, fuel sources like gasoline and propane can be stored safely and can power essential appliances and vehicles. Now, let's talk about rotation practices. Keeping your supplies fresh and usable is crucial. This means using your stored items and replacing them regularly. For instance, consume the food in your stockpile on a rotational basis, replacing what you use with fresh supplies. This ensures that nothing goes to waste and that you always have a supply of fresh, usable food. The same goes for other items. Use the batteries in your flashlights and replace them regularly. Use the gasoline in your generator and refill the tank. Keeping your supplies fresh and usable is just as important as having them in the first place. Remember, preparation isn't a one-time event, it's a lifestyle. It requires regular attention and maintenance, but the peace of mind it provides is invaluable. In a grid collapse, you'll have the resources you need to not just survive, but to maintain a semblance of normality in a world turned upside down. Preparation is not just about having resources, it's about ensuring security and resilience. It's about knowing that, no matter what happens, you have the tools and resources to weather the storm. So, start today. Prioritize your needs, create a sustainable stockpile strategy, and maintain your supplies. In the face of uncertainty, be proactive. Be prepared. In the face of a grid collapse, preparedness is your best defense. These words ring truer than ever as we delve deeper into the reality of our world's unpredictable nature. The importance of preparation cannot be overstated, especially when it comes to ensuring the safety and survival of yourself and your loved ones. A well-stocked supply of essentials is not just a convenience, but a lifeline during times of crisis. It's not about hoarding, but about being responsible, about acknowledging that our modern comforts are fragile and that they can be disrupted without warning. Imagine, for a moment, a world without electricity. No lights, no heating or cooling, no refrigeration. Now imagine that world also devoid of clean water, food, and other basic necessities. That's the reality for many when the grid goes down. It's a stark reminder that the conveniences we take for granted every day are not guaranteed. But with preparedness, this picture changes. With a stockpile of essentials, you're not at the mercy of empty store shelves or non-functioning ATMs. You're not scrambling in the dark, wondering how you'll get through the next few days. Instead, you're secure in the knowledge that you have the resources to weather the storm. Preparation is about more than just surviving. It's about maintaining a level of comfort and security in the face of adversity. It's about ensuring that you can still cook meals, stay warm, and keep clean. It's about making sure that you have the necessary medical supplies and that your pets are taken care of. But remember, preparedness isn't a one-time event, it's an ongoing process. It's about regularly checking and rotating your supplies, about staying informed and adaptable. It's a mindset, a way of life. So, let's recap. Preparedness is crucial. It's your best defense against the unpredictability of a grid collapse. It's about being proactive, about taking control of your own survival. It's about peace of mind. Don't wait for the grid to fail. Start preparing now.